Hey there, it's me, Barb. It's Krispy Kreme time. Krispy, Krispy, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme, you know what I mean. Krispy, Krispy, Krispy Kreme. It's such a dream at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> it's Krispy Kreme time, and it's pumpkin spice time. We're going to go over the four pumpkin spice donuts at Krispy Kreme. Can you believe it? It's August and they have the Krispy Kreme donuts. I was like, it's just August. But then I'm realizing <clears throat> some of the schools out West have start, are started. We don't start to the end of August, but now that's just in a week or two. That freaks me out. But um, anyway, I was, um, I was like pumpkin spice. I think of pumpkin spice like in October and I can see them starting a little early in September, but that's the way it is everywhere, isn't it? And we'll talk about that. But anyway, so let me show you the donuts that we're going to look over. We're going to try. Uh, well, I'm going to try. You're going <laughs> to maybe try. I don't know. Um, so we have the pumpkin spice original, which is right here. So it's supposed to have some pumpkin spice in it. The pumpkin spice latte swirl. That's this one. And then there's the pumpkin spice cake donut. That's this one. And then there's the pumpkin spice original filled with cheesecake donut. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll we'll check it all out and go through them and see if you want to go pop over to Krispy Kreme, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I didn't have Krispy Kreme growing up because we had Dunkin' Donuts up north. But um, I don't know if Krispy Kreme's up north or not. I know it's in other countries. But anyway, so other countries, tell me where you're from if you are if you have a Krispy Kreme or if you don't. Anyway, um, I love hearing where everybody's from and stuff. <clears throat> but anyway... Um, it's just so amazing, isn't it, that we can all, like, communicate in different kinds of ways all over the world. Before, it used to be just, you'd have a pen pal, you know, when I was growing up. But, uh, anyway, um, I'm sorry, this is a t-shirt. I do this to all my t-shirts. I just don't like things close around my neck. I just, ugh. sometimes I wear a necklace. I'm trying to work, and I got two necklaces that I'm going to try to wear all the time, but I haven't done it yet. But, uh, anyway, um... Um, so let's get to the donuts, and we got lots to talk about. Um, but anyway, so we're going to start with the pumpkin spice original glaze. Let's just start with a very simple beginning, <clears throat> and that is, of course, it just looks like the regular um, pump, you know, the regular uh, Krispy Kreme donut, the glazed donut. But it says on here, let's see what it says. It says the original transformed by the perfect amount of pumpkin spice flavor. So let's see. Okay, I'll take a bite. Right. I, I didn't have high hopes for this one, you all. This is very pleasant. You'll be nice, delightfully surprised. You know what would be nice to do is get a dozen of these, and everyone will think they're the original, and they'll think they're losing their mind. They're going, didn't I taste pumpkin? Mmm. <laughs> it's light. A light taste of pumpkin, but it's really nice. Ooh, I love this. I didn't expect it. I mean, I really do. It's weird because, you know, I like those heavy, rich, different kinds of flavors. But this is so light. But it's not too light. It's perfect amount of flavor. It's a 9 or a 10. And I want to say it's a 10, really, for this kind of a donut. It's delightful. What a surprise. A surprise. <laughs> My voice gets squeaky sometimes. I tell you. It's so weird, though, you know, like how they, how, um, well, you know, United States is just capitalistic country. It's just commercialism, commercialism, commercialism. But, um, I'm going to adjust that a little bit. So, it, it's funny how, like, <clears throat> clothes in the stores, you know, if you want to get your summer clothes, you got to get them in the winter. And you want your winter clothes, you got to get them in the summer. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, I don't understand this world. I mean, I understand going a little early, like maybe winter clothes are out in September, but they're out in July now, sometimes even in June. And I'm like, when I would worked at this camp, well, when I was a camp director, when I was trying to get all the water shoes for the kids because they lived in low income communities. And so, um, you know, we provided their water shoes. And if I didn't get them in May or June, I was sunk. And usually even after the second week of June, forget it. And um, lots of times, you know, they would break or somebody needed a different size or there was a new child. I'd go out. I'd be all over the place in western North Carolina looking for those friggin' water shoes. Because, of course, I had to find them cheap, you know, because we didn't have a lot of money. But um, it's so weird. Like, and then 
it's like right now they're having a huge summer sale, so I need to get out there. But the winter stuff is all out, and personally for me in the summertime, I don't want to look for winter clothes. It's too hot. It, I can't think that way. And in the wintertime, you know, you better get your stuff because it'll be gone by the time it's December. This crazy world. World's upside down. I keep saying that. World is upside down. Let's go for the next one. Okay. No, we're going to do this one. This is the big hoo-ha. Well, I think it is. Um, and I think it looks prettier in the uh, commercials. For some reason, I don't know. I can't remember what it looked like, but I should have looked on my uh, phone. But anyway, this is the, let me show you. This is the pumpkin spice swirl. This is the pumpkin spice latte swirl. It's brand new, so it's a new one. And, oh, it's just falling there. And it says pumpkin spice donut dipped in a pumpkin spice and sugar blend swirled with vanilla and coffee buttercream. Coffee buttercream. Now, okay, well, you know. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but, well, I don't drink coffee, but I do have coffee milkshakes <laughs> in freezes and stuff. Well, what do you call them? Coffee, um, whatever's, um, oh, frozen yogurts and stuff. Mmm. Well. Let me take a bite of this. Okay. Personally, let me try try this piece. Okay, I'm going to tell you what, what I would have done. I wouldn't have put this big coffee swirl here. The coffee takes over the whole donut. And, of course, I'm not a big coffee taste like that. It's not my thing. So people who like coffee might really love this donut because the, the donut part is, is the pumpkin tasting. And I don't see a donut with this that has a sugar glaze that tastes like a pumpkin. That would have been a donut by itself. See, that donut I like. That's the typical kind of donut you'd get, like at an apple cider mill or something that you expect for a pumpkin donut. It's a, like a light cakey, not like the hard cakey that we're going to try later. But, and then the, the brown sugar. I feel like this stuff takes away from it. I'll tell you to take another bite, but that coffee's strong. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is a new donut, but it goes down to a six or seven. I give it a six and a half with the icing. If you take that off and you just eat this, that would have been an eight or a nine, probably an eight and a half. Yeah, so that's a shame. But if you like coffee, you'll probably love it. I'll probably be a 10 for you. You know how that is. Everybody's different. Makes the world go round. Makes the world go round and round and round. I'm feeling the sugar. I was like, oh. anyway, they're going. They're going to the store next door. They just parked next to me. Anyway, but I love pumpkin. I love the fall. Right now, you get little tiny, tiny hints in the breezes of fall coming. Um, but um, it is starting to cool off a little bit. It's starting to get in the 70s, which you know I love. I, I, honestly, I don't... I, 74 is hot enough for me. After 74, 75 is too hot. <laughs> I'm a vibe. I, I just don't like that hot weather. Um, I mean, I'm fine, you know. I mean, I, you know, I worked in the heat. I worked in the gardens and, you know... It outdoors for years. I don't know where that came from. Someone said for me to stop licking my fingers, but that piece of icing was back in my neck. I don't know what happened. Maybe when I was going like this, it fell off my hand. I don't know. Okay. Wow. So that, tell me what you like about fall. I just love the the um, the air. I I you know I kind of usually get in a little bit as a slump in, in some kind of in August and then beginning of September, around Labor Day. And then I kind of rise out of it when it cools off. And and then I just love the fall. I love the fall. I love the colors. Oh, gosh. You know, and I apologize. I told you I was going to do my hammock time. I did one in the summer. I did two hammock times, and, they, and I deleted them by mistake. And um, I did on the parkway, but it was jiggling. They did another one on the parkway, and that was deleted in that group of deletes so I just falling apart y'all I'm sorry um so 
Don't think I haven't been trying. I even did the July one for, for here, Krispy Kreme. That didn't air. Uh, but I think I was getting things overheated in my car or something because I lost quite a few. <laughs> anyway, it's a silly thing doing this. And I, I tell myself to stop doing it and then I just keep doing it. It's like I can't help myself. Okay. I'm just going on and on and on. Pumpkin spice cake donut. Now, I'm looking forward to this. Here's the pumpkin spice cake donut. You know, it looks kind of like their blueberry cake donut. It's a glazed, old-fashioned pumpkin spice cake donut. That's easy enough. Let's take a bite, right? Mm. Here it comes. I was looking forward to this one the most. Well, spilled. <laughs> well, I'm going to give it a seven. Maybe I was just hyped up in my head a little too much for that one. I'm sure early in the morning they taste even better because they're warmer. And, you know, I'm here, I think it's around, I don't know, 11 or 12 or something. Um, yeah, I think that glaze, it just makes it so sweet and sugary. I really feel like they had a really great pumpkin donut right here without this topping. That would have been probably my winner. But I tell you, that regular original glaze was really good. Okay, it's the last one, my friends. Oh, oh yeah, I just got a little taste of that icing. Coffee drinkers are probably going to really like that. I mean, pumpkin spice cake donut, but I mean, the pumpkin spice latte swirl. But, um... There's too much coffee in them. Okay, I've already said that 500 times, right? All righty, let's go to the next one. This is the last one, you all. Oh, my goodness. I'm flying through this. Um, this is the, let me show you. Look at the little sweet there. And this says the pumpkin spice original filled cheesecake donut. Original with creamy cheesecake filled filling topped with a cheesecake icing drizzle. Now, when I was doing that July one, the firecrackers and all that, that I never aired, um, it, uh, it got cut off. But anyway, it, it, um, I tried to get a glazed one with the, with the thing filling and I got a regular donut. So I've never tried this, but this is the pumpkin spice original filled with cheesecake donut. Let's see what we got. Interesting. Let me show you. Let's see, it's got that cheesecake filling in there. I'm sorry. That cheesecake filling doesn't work for me with this pumpkin spice, and I don't really taste the pumpkin spice. Because it's so light. That pumpkin spice is light. The cheesecake overpowers it. Mmm. Suckers. I don't know, five? One out of ten? One is you'll never get it again. Don't want to talk about it, think about it. Ten is you want to tell the whole world you can't stop thinking about it, you're going to come back and get it. I tell you, the winner for me really is the original, the real plain pumpkin spice original glaze. Yeah. I mean, that's two thumbs up. And the pumpkin spice latte swirl is, gosh, if they didn't have that swirl on the top, I would love that donut. Do that next year, Krispy Kreme. Because then I probably would have given it a nine or a ten. But I'm going to tell you with that swirl thing, ooh, I guess that's kind of like... Well, it's kind of like this. <laughs> I try not to go like this. And then the cake one, I kind of go like this. And then the one with the cheesecake, I kind of go like this too. I'm sorry. I tell you, I wish that I got that video out when, of the summer stuff because I had high marks for all of them. <laughs> and I didn't expect to. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. And then I did it and I was delightfully surprised. So next summer, check it out. Maybe I'll come back. 
but this pumpkin spice one is kind of a bust for me except for this original and if you got the latte to scrape off the icing and then you really like it um, but this one winner winner donut dinner mm -hmm. which I would never expect it's hard to conceive it's just a light pumpkin spice on it mmm I love it nice I always like to lend a little upbeat, you know. It's so funny how how you don't expect these. So this the pumpkin pumpkin donuts are are everywhere. It'll still be fun to bring to the office because everybody likes different things. You know, just because I say it doesn't mean it's the word of whatever. <laughs> so I think it's something fun, something different. Um, I might have to pop over to Duncan and find out what they're doing. I, you know, I, I, I think I said this one other time. I'm not sure, but I wish that um, Krispy Kreme had had chai something or um, something, some kind of pumpkin drink without coffee in it. I don't know if that's possible. I guess I'm asking too much from this old world. But anyway, um, oh, did I show you this? I'll just read it to you. It says, just think outside. Instead of, you know, just think out of the box, it's like, just think outside. I like that. It says, North Carolina. It's like, for, forget the box, just think outside. And, you know, think outside of the box. <laughs> anyway, but some people don't like the outdoors, so I want to respect that. I just love the outdoors. So, um, anyway, I hope you all can get outside. And if you don't like it, then, you know, do your thing. And I hope you have a good week. And um, thanks for stopping by. And uh, fall is a coming, okay? Take it easy, you all. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.